In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what you just saw from the beginning of this video. This is a form of inbuilt transitioning where you are playing a particular track, then it gets to a particular point, meet into the track where the audience are joining it, you take it to the beginning to start it again, loop the beat or allow it to play while you play around with the incoming track or even your a cappella or DJ sound effect on it. So we are going to see how we did it step by step. So for you to really master this, the first thing you need to do is you need to set your hot cue at the beginning of the track just as you can clearly see here i have a cue point which is the first point where we have this and the key that will do the magic for us here is this letter q look at it where it automatically plays this particular deck from the beginning anytime we tap on it so the next thing we'll do is we have our sound effect on this other side let me switch with the tap on this on the taps it switches to the this other deck this is it this is EA sound effect. Then the next thing we'll do is we already set the, set the cue point at the beginning so that also make it very easy for us to scratch. These things are very, very calculative. It's a lot of brain work that you need to do when you are doing this. So the next thing you do is while the song is playing as it is playing now, you will now tap on this letter Q. It will automatically take it back to the first cue point, which is like this. So you can see it automatically take it back to the beginning of the track. Now that the instrumental is playing, the next thing you do is you will now tap on this button, this particular button, it switches back to this other deck where you have this sound effect on. Then what will you do now with the sound effect? You have this your apostrophe key that takes care of playing around with your crossfader. Look at it. So by tapping on it that way, it introduces this deck, start it, then allow it to play just the way your deck behaves. Then you have your letter A that takes care of introducing the scratches at interval whenever you tap on it. Then in combination of this, continue to play around with your crossfader and other things that I might not be able to begin to go into detail when it comes to the aspect of the mapping. So these are the complications that comes with this mapping that I try to avoid trying to say I want to show you guys the mapping because you might end up getting confused. You see, when it comes to execution context in programming, it's a different ball game entirely from just typing random code on your virtual DJ. So let's get to enjoy the moment as you get to master this. This link to where you can get the sound effect is a full pack that has over 200 sound effects for you to play around with the way you want. And all this mapping, the finger drumming I'm using, every DJ key resources that you need will be in the description box of this video for you to tap into. So let's run a short demo now again for you guys to see. I'm going to move this track into this inner part now. Then we'll do it, you get to see it now. So, It's your boy right here on the wheels of steel. Deal. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> 